Yo, 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 good people. Welcome to the Airman Show. Yo, 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 good people. It's your homie, Airman. And you back upside the head with another hot thing, up. Boogie. Yeah, we're straight and smack in the middle of Santon. All right, it's about, uh... Uh, it's about 9.30 a.m. And uh, we're on our way to the ATM. You gotta be careful. If you don't get hit out here, you know, because uh, everything's a little opposite from America. But then at the same time, it's the same, man. And, you know, that's why I really wanted to make the video. Kind of let you guys know, man, that... Uh, if you wanted a blend, a really good blend, a good, really good mixture of success and black excellence and um, culture at the same time, I really think that South Africa really brings that mixture so that um, we don't feel like we're missing anything. Uh, you know, um, I don't really encourage a lot of westernism but at the same time you know who say that this particular excellence is western you know what i mean they stole so much from us that uh you know we can't just give away everything that's good and great to say that it was theirs you know what i mean um but when you look at it man you see you know different stuff out here for different people and uh, again, it just it's just one of those things. It's a sight to see. Again, um, I come from, you know, what I would consider black excellence in Atlanta, Georgia, um, where we was able to build that city and really take ownership of that particular area, a, partic a particular city. Um, but I hear, man, it's, it's, it's everything. I mean, in this sentence, is just not the only city. You got Midrand, you got Johannesburg, you got... Pretoria, Cape Town. I mean, there's just so many other ones, you know. Um, and uh, it's just one of those things that you got to come out here, you got to see. Uh, hopefully, you guys can just see the stuff as I go. Uh, that's the mall right there that we went to yesterday, the Mart. Uh, again, I mean, it's just excellent out here, man. Excellent. The food is always great, uh, and you just can't beat the army. You can't beat it. So that's just a little bit, man. I'll let y'all see some more once I get up here to the ATM. Yo, but yeah, man, so you know, again, I just thought it was important for us to see what's going on out here from um, an American standpoint and point of view. Um, you know, I grew up in an era where uh, there were a lot of negative um, perpetrations of our people on, you know, tell our vision and, and a lot of that stuff. And so that did kind of make it to where a lot of people didn't want to come and see, you know, uh, uh, their people poor. They didn't want to see their people needy. They didn't want to see their people you know, like how they were showing us, you know, we don't want to see flies and all that type of stuff on the kids. And so a lot of Americans, especially the, the diaspora, they got put off from that. They didn't want to see that. They didn't want to be connected to that type of, of lifestyle. Um, so, you know, I think also that is still in a lot of us, you know, that we think that it's impoverished and we think that um, it's going to be taken uh, a back seat to America or it's going to be taking you back in time or it's going to be taking you back to nothing and that's far from the truth uh, when I came out here to South Africa now there may be areas out here and I'm pretty sure there are areas just like it is in America where there are going to be poverty and poverty to a point that you probably never experienced or never seen before and um, that's no different than uh, I would think anywhere else but um, you know, just to be able to see the excellence, though, and and it not be hidden, and to see our people in every sector of business, you know, um, to watch South African TV and watch, you know, commercial after commercial of our people, uh, news of our people, uh, you know, just 
it, you know, all of these people out here working are black. Yeah, yeah, you see some white people out here, but for the most part, it's us, man, in every area, everywhere, uh, doing everything. You know what I mean? And that's just and on on a level to where we could rival any other country. This South Africa, this is a country. So this is just like rival in America, although it's on the continent of Africa. Uh, so when you're talking about coming to another country where you are at, and it looks like you, but that still can give you uh, what you think you may be missing from America, you know, that, that, that high life, that, that can I make some money? Can I make some real money? Can I live a certain way if I make some money? You know, that's really what this thing is all about is can we make some real dolo and can we re live the way that we were living in America if I go somewhere else? And I'm telling you, South Africa, yes, you can. Yes, you can. And you won't be missing anything. And you'll be very close to culture as well. You'll be very close to, uh, you know, being able to uh, flip the switch from your business clothes you know into something a little bit more comfortable to something a little bit more cultural um, and you can do that at the flip over wrist here you know and that's what I that's what I mean by having that great mix uh, you know crime is everywhere I, I haven't been you know ain't nothing happened to me so far so I'm not gonna speak about crime because ain't nothing happened to me and I ain't seen that um, I've seen no police heard no ambulances um, you know and so that that part of you know what we're talking about, I ain't even studying uh, as far as the crime, and that's what people want to talk about. But I, man, I, you know, it may be, uh, but you probably would have already got something in America. I ain't got nothing yet. So uh, looking at it from that standpoint, man, you know, this is just um, you know a great experience for me, man. And like I said, I'm not, I, I haven't been in the other African countries. I can only speak about South Africa, but I, but, but me being from America. And uh, knowing some of the things that I probably would still like and want, uh, you know, when I think about other countries that I've looked at, you know, what would give me that great mix, what would make me feel at home, you know what I'm saying, literally at home, but still give me some culture and still give me some grounding. South Africa, to me, man, is that great mix. So. Um, all of you guys considering it, uh, being African American, looking at my channel, you know, I'm an herb man, so I'm here really on business to look at some other things, but you know, I can't miss what I'm seeing, <laughs> and I just got to tell you from a, uh, you know, from a vlogging standpoint, from a travel standpoint, man, this is awesome, you guys, this is awesome, awesome. Yo, 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 good people. Welcome to the Herman Show.